Hi guys, Sherry here from No Fucks Giving Crew. How are you doing? So I thought I'd do a reading for you. Um, it is December 31st, so New Year's Eve. So Happy New Year's to you all. Um, so this will be the energy from January the 3rd until January the 10th. So I'll just give it a quick shuffle here. I also want to thank you guys again for all the comments, likes, and shares. I am just absolutely blown away by the response. I, um, I started the YouTube channel just to share my readings from my group, No Fucks Given, and I was not expecting it to take off like this, to have like a, a public response, so wow. I know some of you guys ask for a private reading. I'm, I'm not quite set up for something like that just yet. Uh, my channel is only, I think, three weeks old. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I'm just trying to get over the shock right now. But thank you for the comments. I'm just, oh, thank you so, so much. just gives me so much of a boost. Okay. So I'll do um, the regular Twin Flame reading. So either side can apply to you. Um, doesn't matter if you're female or male. And then I'll pull two cards from the Enchanted map. So this is John Holland. One more shovel. So I don't read reversals for the John Holland, but I do for the Enchanted map. Okay, so first card for the female. Wow, spiritual union. Male is intuition. The universe. Passion ignited. Wow. Um, suffering in silence. Yeah, that sounds like a female to me. The waiting game. Uh, crown chakra firm foundation um, prosperity begins wow another ace another ace oh my god uh, triumphant success that's three aces so far um Heartache and loss. Oh, emotional loss. And the last card is deception and envy. And something's calling me to look at the bottom of the deck as well. Awareness. Okay, so quick shuffle from the enchanted map so I'll just pull one card for each side and that will be the overall message for female side oh I think it was upside down compass do this one and solitude okay I have the deck upside down so both of these are up right right okay so we've got the cards let me have a look at them and I'll get back to you that is super frustrating uh, so I had already made an intro intro for this video but for some reason the audio didn't work on it um, okay yeah, so I, I sat with the cards, and um, the very first thing that kind of popped out at me was uh, these two cards here. They showed up in the last reading, um, and I'll try to post a picture of the reading. It should show up here somewhere. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, in the other reading I was talking about how the male or the female was looking into this little orb 
um, at the universe and um, she was showing up on the male side well lo and behold it happened again so now it's on the male side so he's looking uh, he's going within using his intuition um, and uh, looking through at the female um, another interesting aspect that I noticed right off the bat is um, this entire reading uh, is based on manifesting things into the 3D world. Uh, so the female is doing her work, um, but she still needs um, some obstacles to overcome. Um, but there is a manifestation here, a new beginning uh, in the 3D world. And then on the male side, we got uh, him working towards manifesting in the 3D world. Um, you know, laying a solid foundation. Um, also, it is January the 1st uh, when that when I'll be putting this uh, reading out. And um, so that'll be 1-1. One, one, and look at this. We got 1-1-11. One, one, okay. But the energies that the, uh, that the aspects are bringing in are kind of a fragile state here. These cards showed up in the other reading. Um, so I'll be going through each and every card here. Um, actually, we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, I'll start with this card. I wanted to read it to you guys. Okay, Spiritual Union. So this is the Two of Cups. And I consider this to be the uh, Twin Flame uh, card. And it also showed up in the crowning position um, in the Twin Flame reading that I did earlier. So there's definitely a continuation of the story here. So it's showing up in her past position. So the thing I wanted to read here is, there should be an equal balance between giving and receiving. Um, relationships are mere images of your own life. They reflect how you feel and treat yourself, how you react and respond to various situations and individuals around you. Uh, so each and every union is an opportunity for soul growth. So the thing I wanted to point out with this card is the fact that you are reflections of one another and um, because the female energy had these two cards in her reading, of course they showed up as a reflection and there are still issues that need to be addressed. Um, okay, so the next card up is Universe and this is the World card. Um, this says that a major cycle has been completed. So it is um, the last card uh, in the major arcana um, so it is the end of the fool's journey um, so universe is rewarding you for something uh, for this process for going through this process for doing all the hard work um, I just wanted to read it to you so let me just pause it you've come far on your journey and it's time to be rewarded for your efforts this card symbolizes completion, triumph, peace, liberation, and fulfillment. Everything you've strived for is within your reach. Meet it halfway and grab it. The universe is the last of the major arcana cards and reflects the work that you've accomplished on your travels. But more importantly, it represents the wisdom that you've gained along the way. You should honor and acknowledge the truly wonderful soul that you are and accept the vital part that you play in the bigger pitch, in the bigger scheme of life. The world is yours to command and you're free to travel in whatever direction your heart desires. You're connected to everything in the cosmos. The universe card is a reminder that the same energy making up the stars in the sky, the same energy that's coursing through the universe is in each and every individual. In ancient times, many believed that the star was the soul of one person. They also believed that the soul, these souls shine so brightly to guide others through the darkness, and so too can your wise soul. Yeah, so what I'm getting here is that uh, in the next week, the female aspect is going to be going through this major transformation and completing this process um, of finally letting things go. If you look at this card here, this is uh, the Nine of Swords. Uh, in the traditional Rider weight deck, um, it's a woman sitting on a bed and she's consumed with 
uh, thoughts. Uh, there's nine swords piercing down on her. So, um, yeah, this is about, you know, being too consumed by by thought. And um, the, as I was saying in the last reading, that um, the female aspect, well, both of them were standing on the precipice, and it's kind of reflected here as well. We've got these two beginnings, two ones. They're both, it's almost like they're both staring at each other. Uh, and as they're staring at each other, all of these wounds are coming up. But um, so for it's triggering the female aspect for sure. There's still some things that she needs to work through. Um, yeah, so it's all about letting go of those self-limiting beliefs and that negative self-talk. Uh, so in her future position is the crown chakra. So this is the last chakra. Um, this is your connection to source you are tapped in to the source or you will be in the future position. Uh, so yeah, um, this is where all of your guidance, your knowledge, um, intuition, creativity, you name it, you can tap into it and uh, into the Akashic records and download whatever you want. So this is what is needed. She needs to connect to the universe. She needs to be connected to source and once she does that, she will be rewarded. This is a gift from the universe. So this is the Ace of Pentacles. This is the windfall card. This is, you know, um, cash payment, basically, bonus. And uh, it, it could be as a result of all the hard that work that you put in, um, or it could be come as a surprise. And I got to say, um, I was not expecting, you know, the YouTube channel to take off like that. Uh, so it kind of carries that same energy so yeah <clears throat> these cards are are real and that's you know it's true you do the work and universe will reward you for your efforts uh, so yeah she's bringing this one into the union and these are great cards I mean I mean she is connected to um, her twin there's no denying it. You guys both have this uh, intuitive connection going in and tapping in, entering the universe, and uh, you know, playing off of each other's energies. It's just incredible. But yeah, it's um, she's feeling united uh, to her twin, and uh, she just needs to let go of these last couple of things. But you're doing great, girls. All right, so on the male side, um, we have intuition. And I don't think I, re I read it last time, but I wanted to read it for you again, again I guess. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, so I'm just going to skip ahead. With so much information in this world vying for your every thought, it's easy to ignore or fail to acknowledge your insights synchronicities and so-called coincidences are powerful signs that intuition is knocking at your door. Have you heard the phrase uh, or a saying repeated by more than one person today? Um, do the same numbers keep showing up in your life? Has someone mentioned uh, the name of a specific individual whom you were just thinking of? These are all signals for you to pause, be open, and pay attention. This is a perfect time to seek answers from within. Turn inward where you'll find the solutions and valuable insights that are waiting to assist you. When you learn to use and trust your intuition, you'll begin to have a sense of not only the right timing, but you'll also begin to perceive people and situations with deeper and more discerning eye. You'll not only observe beneath and beyond what's actually in front of you, you'll see the real deal. The reason I wanted to read that card is for the pure fact of um, looking beneath and beyond and seeing the real deal. Um, that's key. And I think that's why uh, both aspects are showing up in this raw form. You know, they're standing there naked, basically exposed. So the power of intuition is guiding them. It's allowing them to see the real person beneath, um, you know, the facade or the, the pain or the story.
so yeah um, intuition and being connected to source is huge in this reading so the next card up is um, the ace of wands and a re this is a repeated card it was in this position so what I'm getting from this uh, this is a new beginning there are all aces are new beginnings um, but this is something that um, you're passionate about it's creativity it's being connected to source it's allowing source to flow through you um, so it's an ignition um, it's fuel fire for an idea to move you forward um, so he um, the union ignited something in him uh, and now this ignition is showing up completely on his side and he's using it as fuel uh, to push him forward so um, yeah this is uh, number one of wands and this is number two so there's like a progression here um, so he had the idea and now he's waiting for the payoff um, I think I might want to read this one to you as well as well yeah I think I will okay hold on this card indicates that you've worked hard to set things in motion in certain areas of your life you're now waiting for the results to come to fruition the number two is all about choices and decisions, and it's interesting that there's three twos that showed up as well in this reading. Um, so the number two is all about choices and decisions. In the past, you may have been afraid of making decisions or choices, but now you're no longer held prisoner by the fear or the constraints of old beliefs. Expect the best and be open to the limitless power of your tuition, intuition. So there we go, that intuition um, card again is showing up, uh, which is presently very strong. Trust and use it to assist you. Achievement and success are assured. And that's the same thing with this um, Ace of Swords right here. Uh, achievement and success are assured but once obtained don't let it change you remember who you are the effort that it took to get you to this point and the gratitude you need to show to other people who helped you stay on your spiritual spa uh, path for it will continue to guide you on the journey of your soul so awesome so the final card that he has is firm foundation uh, so this card talks about um, laying a foundation in the 3D world. So it has to do with material things. Uh, so we got that theme going on here as well. Um, new beginnings of material wealth or material manifestation. And I will read this card for you because it kind of summarizes the entire reading. Uh, so the thing that really strikes me is the... Um, base chakra that's showing up here it's also showing up down here as well um, so that has to do with safety and security and um, grounding in the 3d world so his desire is to create some sort of stability and security for the future okay so the energy that he's bringing into the reading is the ace of swords um, and this is all about using your will and determination, clarity uh, to drive you forward with this idea. Um, and it's also about cutting away negativity. So he's slicing away all these negative thoughts that um, maybe stopped him from moving forward in the past. But now he's made the decision He's got those two aces happening. New beginnings are going to happen, and he's using his pure will to move forward. Okay, and he will be successful. All right, so the energies that they're both bringing into the reading. Um, so at the base, we have the heartache and loss. Uh, so that's, you know, like I said before, it's a three of swords. Um, it's about, you know, dealing with, your emotional uh, pain, your emotional loss, um, and in, in order to move forward, it's like she's 
kind of backed into a corner here. She can't escape it. She needs to deal with it. Uh, and here, this speaks of, um, you know, feeling a loss from a relationship. You know, um, it's a separation, a separation, detachment kind of thing. Uh, yeah, so the theme here is to let go of those emotional wounds, those negative thinking, uh, in order to move past this precipice because this uh, negative energy is stalling the union. You know, you want to come in as whole beings healed uh, because the shared uh, energy rate at the middle is uh, deception and envy and that's the seven of swords so that's not trusting the other person you know what if they um, you know some some twins might have karmic uh, relationships that they still need to release and that's a sense of of safety and if they release that karmic relationship you know that that anchor that they had you know what um, assurances do they have that the other person will still be there once they go through that process you know and also standing at the precipice looking at each other um, with these new beginnings in the 3d world um, in your hand that can really you know scare the crap out of you like you've always had these ideas in your mind of what you want or your dreams you know are near they can be grass they're just within reach but then when you're actually given that gift it can strike fear in you you know so it seems to me like they're still going through this um you know dark night of the soul but they've arrived at the same point they're both here they're both looking at each other he's with you and you're with him you're tapped in and you can um feel each other at all times okay it's just this energy that's coming from the female is still being reflected in the relationship so this is something that still needs to be cleared for sure okay so I'm going to read the um, uh, the magician card and, uh, and then we'll wrap it up I also wanted to read these two cards as overall energies as well and it does ironically and I can't plan this shit but you know it's it beautifully summarizes the, the reading as well. So, okay, one sec. Okay, so awareness is card number one. Uh, zero is the uh, fool card, and that's the beginning of the fool's journey. So this is card number two, kind of. <laughs> All right, so number one, um, awareness. This card is one of the key reminders that you already possess all of the tools to guide and direct you in your life whether it's wisdom, intuition, psychic skill, creativity, self-motivation, love, willpower, physical ability, or just pure courage. They're all a part of you. Once you learn to tap in and use them, you'll be amazed by the power and effect they can have. You have the ability, ability to allow the universe to work in partnership with you. Together you can manifest change, whatever you desire may be, and bring about a positive outcome. This card represents your ability to create your own reality, to set ideas in motion and watch them grow. This card is often drawn when, you've, when you're ready to switch directions, start a new project, or change careers. Now is the time to use positive thoughts, visualizations, and affirmations as you veer away from negative thought. Knowledge is power and can lead you to success by having faith, keeping your willpower strong and directed, and by tapping into the tools that you possess, as well as calling on the magic from the universe, you can accomplish anything and everything you set out to do. So, I mean, I can't sum it up any better than that. And I just noticed that the throat chakra is underneath, so I think some communication needs to take place. Uh, yeah, so um, definitely some healing needs to occur. 
uh, tap into your intuition, use your power, your willpower to thrust you forward, and um, and the female really needs to channel the universe. Okay, so let me just read those last two cards for you. Compass. As long as you orient your compass to true north, the direction of your higher power, you will never be lost. You're entering uncharted territories right now and can expect wonderful new experiences. To stay on the highest path of your destiny, you'll need to keep your compass pointed to true north. Only spirit or higher power can serve this function. Money, property, prestige, romance, and other material achievements can't help you find your true path. They are simply things you may experience along the journey. Know that spirit is working in your life, so even if you feel lost temporarily, it will be easy to find your way. Have faith and trust for your compass uh, with spirit as true north will ensure that you'll never be lost, even on starless nights when all seems dark. So stop looking for a star outside of yourself. You are the star in the sky. You are the soul in the sky. Believe that. And once you let go of those thoughts, a path will open up in front of you. Okay, so I'm just going to pause it and get solitude ready. So solitude is 13, and, and uh, so it's another grounding energy, just like this one up here. I am comfortable in my own skin as I detach to replenish my soul. Meditation is required when you receive the solitude card as a sign. Empty your mind of super, uh, superfluous thoughts and allow stillness to flow through your being. This is not an adventitious time to ask questions or push forward in any way. Rather, it is a period of conscious retreat. What's called for now is to step back and take your focus off your life and your troubles. You'll be surprised by how things sort themselves out once you've replenished your energy by means of much needed rest and time out. So to sum it up, um, if you're thinking of this in terms of dualities of mind, again, this would be the female aspect. Uh, so spirit is telling you to connect to the consciousness, um, you know, uh, remove all those negative thoughts from your mind and uh, allow abundance to enter your life. Okay, so on the male aspect, um, Use your intuition when it comes to financial matters. Uh, make firm uh, decisions and choices. Uh, cut away negative thinking and negative people. And use your, your will uh, to uh, push forward uh, and stay connected to source. You are definitely ignited. Um, but also use this time to retreat and look after yourself. Uh, and as a union energy, um, yeah, uh, 11 and 11, I mean, that's beautiful. There is definitely a 5D connection, uh, but there's, uh, we still need to do some work. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I hope it helps somebody out there. Uh, cheers. Love ya.